New musical comedy The Prom takes place in a small town where one high schooler is barred from taking her same-sex date to, you guessed it, The Prom. A group of brassy Broadway performers swoop in to save the day with show tunes and jazz hands. We're here on opening night to catch up with the stars. love Broadway and we thought the two worlds were really fun together you know because not everyone does love Broadway like those theater people in the town or I mean the people in the town are like what the hell is happening here we are huge fans of each other yeah. like Brooks and I are together we're like Caitlin Kinnan and getting her oh, curtain call in the crowd going crazy like a star is born As and she was 11 or whatever yeah, when we started you know, this yeah and now she's 43 I love its heart and its honesty it doesn't apologize for what it is and it's great. I feel like the luckiest girl in show business, let's just be clear. I gotta soak this all up. It probably will never happen again in my lifetime. I'm so proud of my co-authors because it's an entirely original show. It's really hard to get an original idea out there. To get, you know, that something that isn't branded or that doesn't have a huge star. I'm so proud that, that uh, we managed to get it you know, down this long road and it's out there and seems to be well received. If I would have had this show when I was a kid, my childhood would have been much happier. I looked up to these people my entire life. My high school best friend just reminded me that Beth Level was my password on my computer in high school. So, uh, she's a big deal to me, you know, it's kind of cool. It touches our hearts in such a way that to get all of that in one show doesn't happen all the time. And to feel that audience feel that every night is unbelievable. I come to see the prom because they're sick of their therapist and they need to throw away the antidepressants. This will make them happy and give them hope. <laughs> 